And because it was leg day, why not give myself more pain? We are gonna do, guys, this move. This is number 59. I'm gonna bend over and do the move. I'm gonna be a man again. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dear Jesus, and one, two, three, four. Okay? It's simple. You just like she's the girl, she's the man, I'm the girl. You do it, you 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 just go like one, two, three, four, you just point, go on to the other side, and you just go under the arm. Hello everybody and welcome back to part number three of this awesome thank you material for 10,000 subscribers. Now, well, it's actually like more 12, 10,000, 10, 10, 12,000. I'm Marius, she's Elena, and uh, let's get to work. As you know, moves will count them from like 50 to 75. Now, don't forget to support us, follow us, you know what to do. Yes, I need to put my glasses on to see you better. Let's do this. So move number, we did from one to 50, right? Move number 51. You are gonna grab your girl, like a closer position, okay? This time we're gonna get our leg in. So you are gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you can deconstruct this move and do like slow, how we balance. say this? Balance, balance, slow balancing. Okay, balancing is the word. So let's call this move balancing the hip, maybe. And you can go slow on two, two counts or fast on one count. Okay, so let's do it one more time. You go in and out, get her to step a little bit towards you so that she pushes her hips towards you. She needs to be a little bit leaned on you. Then you go forward, you go back, you go forward, you go back, and then you can go fast and tap. The trick here, short explanations, guys, don't go like this, like do a hook with your uh, knee, okay? Like here, you see, like grab her, and when you push, also you do not push like this. Okay, <laughs> you push with like, let's turn. I will exaggerate a little bit. You you push like this, okay, into her leg, like boom and catch, like boom, catch, like I push here and wait, 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 like like I do this, okay, and that's the main idea. So no paradise, no fishy fishy area, and no karate kid. Move number fifty two. It's like fifty one, but you add some hip twirls. Eight rolls, I don't know, the girl does something different. So, we go again, one, two, three, four, and it's like you go and open, you go and close, you go and open, you go and close, and you tap, okay? Of course, you can play with what we did on 51, or you can even do this like, let's say the basic of this move is just staying still, okay? So, after a basic step, you just open and close, open and close. So let's do like this. Let's, let's say that this on the spot will be like 52 and 53 will be 51 plus 52. I rearranged the move a little bit. She doesn't know that. So let's do it one more time. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, this will be like 53. And going back to 52, it's the same, but on the spot. You go close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open. Like do it on um, two times. Now, the thing for both these move, z, moves, moves, plural, is that you need to lead her to open. And you connect chest, like hip area to say so, and you just roll, okay? She needs to... 
to it's like your like two gears okay and you do that okay or like two barrels that uh, roll one uh, beside the other something like that okay so here just close open close open and then add a little bounce use it however you want and you can add that also on this move like one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight finish with a wave or something like that play with them movimento numero 54 <laughs> right on right we are gonna stay in this position so that you'll see it better like do a basic step and i'm gonna turn the girl move my hand on her uh, hip block her and take her back with me okay then basic step for two, three, four, because we did that like mambo step, we exited on the other side of the count. So now I will pull her and change the hands like one, two, three, four. This was five, six, seven, eight, as I've said, because of that mambo. And now we exit like I push her a little bit down, I step, I go out. And I wait. We did a tap and now let's exit with a frisbee. Five, six, seven, eight, and one. Now let's do it one more time so that Marius, that's me, can get the counting right. So one more time. Five, six, fluid and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, slowly, five, six, seven, eight, and one. From this position, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Change the hands, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Move number 55, as we did in the part two, I guess the one in which I went like boom, 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 back, back, and do the double head roll. Now we are gonna go for the girl. This is learned at the workshop of Daniel and Desiree. So, um, they were doing it like simple, okay, like on the basic step, just go with your hands and do the double head roll. Okay, now what I like to add is just like maybe throw the girl's hands and just then after that, then after that, you got the idea, go for the X. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. But remember the basic is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. This is not a hard move, guys. Go with your right, with your left, doesn't matter, left, right, but you have to have your right on top. Um, do the bounce, okay, balance from one leg to another and try to lead the girl in like a double head roll. Girls, just wait. Don't think you know what the guy wants to do. Follow him and everything will be all right. Movimento 56 es un movimento de cadera, cadera <laughs> y cabeza. <laughs> so uh, it's like a turn. Well, actually there's no hip movement. <laughs> there, there, it's a turn. How do you say turn in Spanish? Giro, 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 es un giro, es un giro, giro. con una head roll. So, sorry guys, we speak Spanish, but we, it's like, you see, it's very basic. So it's tortillas. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For now, just this, because the next move, this is 56, six. 57 will be more awesome. So. Uh, from this point of view guys, we do the basic step. We turn the girl on two counts, we touch her neck and we lead it into a head roll. So, five, six, seven, eight. Now, important guys, like on the six, you go with your hand, it's like five, six. She needs to feel that and then you lead with your, let's say, fingers, but by fingers I don't mean like that, I mean with the part this part of your hand, okay? So, and then it's like a simple head roll. Be suave, e muy rico, 
con la chica. And everything will be all right. I don't really know what I said, but I know suave is suave and rico is... I heard it in a Mark Anthony song, so it's okay. <laughs> Move number 57. As we said, it's like 56, but with a body wave and another head roll. And guys, if you already think, why do I do these weird ass basic steps and whatnot? It's because it was leg day. And in the middle, it's me. So that's why my steps look a little bit weird because I have like, how do you say, muscular fever? I don't know if that's a thing in English, but we have it. And it's sore muscles. Sore muscles, that's the thing. And it, they hurt like hell. I, bet I can barely walk. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so like do a wave on four counts, another head roll and get her up. When doing it slowly, you as you saw, it's very awkward to say so because it takes a lot of time. But let's do it like this a little bit more fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four. So the short explanations, it's exactly the 56. But after a head roll, I already like kind of push on eight towards one, eight, one, two, settle the girl, hold her here, do another head roll and like lift and go towards your eight count tap. Girls on right, guys on left. Number 58, it's going to be like a trick. Okay, so we're going to turn the girl one, two, three, four, five, six, get on her left side, of course, catch her and leave her, 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 her leg on your leg. My God, they hurt like hell. But I will be a man and do it one more time. So like from here and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, tap and you go out. They hurt. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Turn the girl, you can do it like a pretzel turn also, and you do it like slow, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and exit. Now, this is like the slow move. You can also do it fast, but you have to consider like the counts because you might end up on the wrong side of the count. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, something like that. Or you can do it even like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, connect, let her, and five, six, seven, eight. But you will exit like on one on the other side. So just adjust my... Our... <laughs> Our advice would be to do the slow one at first until you get very comfortable with it and then just play with the numbers. As you saw, I did it from here and I did it from here. It doesn't matter, the same principle applies. You have to be on her left side. Five, six, and I can take her already on seven, eight. And from this position, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it's like I connect, okay? So like for the pretzel, you already can go to seven, eight. On the basic one, on seven, eight, you kind of connect. And we are talking about the connection. It's really important. You have to push your hips one against the other, and you have to not squish, but squeeze the little girl a little bit, and also hold her. And that's all I can do for now. And because it was leg day, why not give myself more pain? We are going to do, guys, this move. This is number 59. I'm going to bend over and do the move. I'm going to be a man again. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dear Jesus. And one, two, three, four. Okay? It's simple. You just... Like, she's the girl, she's the man, I'm the girl. You do it, you, you, you just go like one, two, three, four. You just point, go on the other side, and you just go under the arm, okay? Do as 
Simon did it and Maria followed. Okay? Move number 60. Well, if I went down here, why not go down there? I hope this will uh, use my back more than my legs. So guys, number 60 is gonna be like a, let's say, changing of places. And we have to go like in a back pedal, if it makes sense. So you go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You just step, you don't do the tap because it's more comfortable well, actually, it's not more comfortable. You have to do it that way, okay? So don't, uh, don't do the tap. Step. It's more easier that way. But if you have fast legs, like you can do the tap and go, okay? And the main idea is you have to have your legs a little bit spread out and like go to the side, go back. Okay, this is easier on my legs and do the tap. One more time for this position and we are, we are gonna add the exit, okay? It's gonna be like a mambo turn, something like that, to exit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, for example, and one, two, three, four, catch the girl hand and go like five, six, seven, eight, and one from this position. Five, six, seven, eight, and one two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one. Guys, you can play with this however you want. The basic idea is that she holds one of her hands on you and you do a head roll. Number 61 is gonna be two waves with another hip movement, something like that. So from this position, guys, uh, let's turn a little bit more like this, okay? So we are like diagonally right now. Do the wave until four, one, two, three, four, set her down a little bit. I'm not gonna go down because my knees hurt, but you also not hit knees, muscles, okay? Uh, that's all I can do now. Uh, push her hip towards you, like boom, and then release and get up, okay? One more time, fluid, I'm gonna do it as best as I can now. One, two, three, go down, five, six, seven, eight. Girls, it's important for you to follow the guy's lead, okay? So imagine uh, like he is uh, pushing you into him and then releasing, follow him, okay? Guys, you don't need to uh, release a lot. Let's say go like this and expect her to follow. No, just release a little bit and girls, you need to play with your hips. From this position you go one, two, three, four, release guys the hips so she has her hips backwards so you can push them like forward, release and go back. Also you can do it like with this hand here, it's, you have more control like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, something like that. Move number 62, guys it's gonna be like from a basic step, turn her, five, six, put your, the back of your hand on the back of her, let's say shoulder, on her, uh, ba not backbone, how do you call that? Shoulder blade. shoulder blade, on her shoulder blade, like seven, eight, okay, change the grip from here to normal, and like do waves, use your body, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, tap, and one, two, again, turn her, five, six, put my hand and lead, and lead, and so on until the end. Now, let's do it from this position. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Guys, be a little bit diagonal, don't go straight forward. Let's say if we are like this, we go like this, okay? Exaggerated a little bit, but don't go like this. It's difficult. Go in a, a small diagonal. And also, like your right hand is just helping you, your left hand is connected to your body and you just do the waves. Move number 63, it's like 62 with uh, another exit to say so. So guys, go five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, raise and go down with the girl. Now, the short explanations is, um, is, it's not is, is, is for the last part, okay? About the last part. We did like the wave, okay? Okay.
Okay, and now here, raise her up a little bit. It's like breathe in, connect your legs, and push a little bit with your leg, and go back. This requires a lot of exercise, okay? Don't think that just because you lift her or you, or you connect your leg, the job is done. You have to practice so that you add the right amount of energy and uh, precision in your moves. So let's do it one more time, but uh, we are going to do it like on uh, normal speed. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. Move number 64, we're going to do a hip roll with our hands. For example, you go here, one, two, you go to the hips and you go five, six, seven, eight. From this position, a one, two, three, tap, push, back, left, tap. Okay, guys, uh, remember when you go down, stop like on her, uh, how do you say, belt, okay? Or on her hip bone, okay? Don't go lower. Like, do it. Boom, pack, pack, tap. Move number 65 is like 64, but you do it like only halfway. So we're gonna show it from this position. You go one, two, three, four, five, six, and go back. I know it feels a little weird, like towards the end, or it will feel a little bit weird, but we are gonna do this to launch other combos. So treat this like a simple move, okay? So one more time from the tap, you go five, six, go back and tap. An important thing, guys, here, don't hold your hands all the way like this because it will force you to go back. You start with them like this and here you change a little bit like this. It's easier. Otherwise, you will be forced to go down because you don't have like flexibility in your wrists. At least I don't. Move number 66. We'll call this belly dance hips. Maybe. So, guys, hold your hands like this and you go like left up, right down and one and three and five and seven. Okay, the thing is uh, you go like, like this, like this, like this, like this. Okay, so from this position it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can also add a balance to you or a, yeah, a balance, a shift of weight, guys. So when she goes to the left, go with her, but then try to go in the other uh, way, on the other position, like be in a counterbalance move. One more time from this position, from a basic step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. Girls, you need to learn how to do this without the guy. Boom, 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 tap. If you want a tutorial for that, like only for you girls, you know what to do. Ask her. Move number 67. Guys, we're gonna turn our backs toward the girl and like do a side wave into a normal wave and etc. So you go like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and simple, exit, five, six, again. So, I do like a half turn towards my back, towards my left, actually, like a back turn, okay? Five, six, seven, eight. I go to the side, to the side, that was like four times, five, six, seven and tap, prepare the exit and also come back with a mambo. Like one, tap, three, tap and five, six, seven, eight. Okay, girls only have to follow your, your body. So guys, be sure to lead it properly and go into the waves. Move number 68. Guys, we're gonna go with our backs against the girl again, but we're gonna do it on one, two, three, four. So you go one, two, three, four, do a basic step, five, six, do a mambo or a suave, uh, this was like eight, one, two, 
three, prepare, like throw her hand, but also lead her into that move. Push with the hand behind your back, change the hands and pull her towards you. So as guys, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna change our position, do a uh, half turn using the mambo step or the step touch, however you wanna call it. We're gonna go into the basic step. One, two, seven, eight, I guess. This was that, yeah, five, six, seven, eight. Now, we're gonna do a suave or a mambo. This, we added here to change the counts, to exit correctly, to say so. So let's do the suave, like five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it was one, two, three, four. Oh my God, the counting. So, uh, now we're gonna do like with the mambo. One, two, three, four, or the suave. One, two, three, four. Now, we are gonna like use the hand to push, okay? Not just throw the hand, like push her. She needs to understand that. And also with the hand behind our back, we are gonna like also push. So we add these two, she understands, we catch and we turn her. Let's do it from uh, this position, I guess. So I'm gonna turn, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. Move number 69. It's lo it looks like this. One, two, I turn the girl. Five, six, I turn myself. Hand down, hand down, hand on the back of my neck. And I release five, six, seven, eight. So, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, delayed turn for me. I raise my left, I orient myself in that direction. I push or I put the left hand down. I go down with the right, I go up with the left and I release five, six, seven, eight. From that position, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Move number 70, we're gonna play with the girl's hand. So we're gonna go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, to enter here, okay? Think of any other move in which you get here on her wrist. Guys, don't squish, don't hurt her. It's just like you're holding them. Girls, you can put your hands like this or like this, however it's more comfortable. For me as a guy, it's more comfortable to lead them like this than like this. Like this is more comfortable. So we're gonna go and do away from this position. It's like one, two, three. Oh my God, my legs. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and that's it. It's not hard. It's like you lead the wave through the hands. Girls, just be careful to have your arms tensed up a little bit and don't let them do this, okay? We are gonna use the shoulders to, to lead it, okay? So the shoulders move, if you see, okay? Not the elbows, not like this, okay? So that's about it, just a simple wave. Move number 71, it's a little bit more complex. We're gonna lead the same move from here. We're gonna go into a side wave, side wave, normal wave. So let's enter the same, like hands down to go up and change, five, six, seven, eight. Side wave, side wave, big wave, seven, eight, and one. When we say now side wave, think like the side wave with a, a small opening, okay? So guys, also use your body like this and use my body again. Always lead her into the tap also. For example, we do the wave, okay? And when we go up, we go up and I go as a guy forward. So she understands she needs to do the tap. Number 72, I really hope we didn't did, we didn't did, we didn't do this one in the earlier parts, but I don't think so. Uh, I'm a little bit messy when it comes to organizational skills, so we might have done it, but I hope we didn't. So, uh, we go like this into a hammerlock, one, two, three, four, and I think we did this move, like go here, here, and you turn the girl under her arm. But now we are gonna like, uh, we're gonna show it to you, like, five, six, seven, eight, and one, okay? The idea is from this hammerlock, we are gonna do a balance, we're gonna throw her hand, 
police are coming, just a sec. And then we balance back, I throw her hand, I use my right hand and I pull her into a forced turn. Always guys, uh, let's do it on the other side from the hammer. Don't like pull toward you, pull toward you and then release down so you don't break her arm. So one more time from this position, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The trick here and the most important part maybe is you need to change here the, the hands, okay? Like go down on three and catch on four to be able to throw on five, six, seven, eight. And also guys, you do not need to like hit her, just balance, okay? It's like you connect on the way and you throw back. Number 73 guys, we're gonna do a changing of places, three, four, five, six, delay third, changing the hands behind us, like step on one, but go inside, okay? Two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Again, two, three, four, five, six, delayed turn, and one, okay? Like here, one, two, three, same hand, and just turn the girl. This is like, you're like going into a very body, big caricia to say so, not just like this, with your whole body. You turn it inside a little bit. Number 74 is gonna be an in and out with the girl going under your arm. So you go like one, two, three, four. I like to lead it very well, so stop here, use your left hand to guide her and raise your right hand and get her back. So short explanation, one, two, three, four, hold here, like raise, she needs to step, push her to step, like you are stepping, and then pull her back. One more time from this position maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Quick hint guys, I modify my tap to be able to do it more easily on the social scene. One, two, three, four. I stay like this because then I can go like that. Last move guys, 75, it will be another trick. Disclaimer, we ask you and we really, 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 really please you. Just train this with somebody you know first and then like do it in the social only with the girls that you know or you are surely that they can do it and only after you know the signals and girls also, if you feel that the guy is giving a similar signal, be sure that it's this move and don't throw yourself as a girl into this move because the guy might not hold you. So this, let's say, the, like this is more for social performing, maybe with your partner or something like that. It's not for newly dancers on the social scene. By newly dancers, I mean you dance with somebody that you don't know. So it's gonna be an in and out and you're gonna raise the girl a little bit off the floor, just a little bit, so that she can split her legs into the air. So it's like one, two, three, four, and my God, may God protect my legs because I have uh, that uh, sore, soreness, because of the soreness, and five, six, seven, eight, and five, six, seven, eight. And I am dying inside because they hurt so much. But one more time from this position, like one, two, hold her, be sure to catch her. You, you might do like a mambo, a suave, do something to be really, really, really sure about uh, doing it properly, okay? Hold her hand like this or like this, but we advise you to do it like this. Girls, you need to be stiff a little bit and you will feel that the guy is like doing a small plie and getting you back okay and girls you need to have like strong abs i mean tensing up them and your back and also your legs just to go wide okay don't go like uh, fried spaghetti no you don't fry spaghetti you you boiled spaghetti okay be tensed up one more time from this position guys also don't stay like this open up a little bit and plie back and tap and 
Easy exit. Boom. Pack. Pack. Six and a half hours later. One more time, guys, from this position, and then we exit. So it's like boom and tap. You can also do it like with a step forward, like a preparation, like one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and so on. We we advise you to find the right move for you. Either do it fast or with a preparation. Okay, it's easier with the preparation. And we underline this once again. Do it with somebody you know, practice it with somebody you know, and maybe add it on your, let's say, team shows or something like that. Don't do it with new dancers. That's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching the third part. Also, the fourth one is coming really soon. And uh, don't forget, this is like the thank you material for you, for each one of you that helped us grow this channel. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share it with your friends. Support us however you want. See you next time. Bye-bye.